Hi, hello, it's Jane Parmpain, and I'm back with another message for the collective. So, um, today we're going to talk about the ancient civilization that you came from, okay? Now, um, before we get started here, if you do want a personal message, my information is going to be in the description box, um, as well as my Instagram. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you feel like you got a message from this video, yeah, leave a comment if, if anything resonates. I'd love to know. So, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Um, thank you. All right. So, for the ancient civilization, hmm, tell us any messages, any divine messages for anybody watching this video at any time. Okay. Three. Thank you. Artificial intelligence. Mm. So, I don't know. Mm. Creatively abundant, yeah. Somebody could be using strong mind, body, and spirit, yeah. Okay, with artificial intelligence, this could also be somebody spying on you. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but you guys, a lot of you guys are going to be really creatively abundant. And you could use, like, your cell phone to record yourself or, you know, um, it's giving content. I'm feeling content from here. But look, strong body, mind, and spirit. Um, yeah, so just watch your back, you know. That's just for some people. See. Okay, thank you, Spirit. What messages do um, it's a collective need to hear right now? Those of them watching the ancient civilization video. Anybody watching this video at any time, what do they need to hear right now? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see. Okay, ready? Somebody might need to do some yoga meditation. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Three. Two. Thank you. Crown chakra and no. What's the no for, spirit? Oh, yeah. Look. Somebody, look. It's like. With the crown chakra and the no, it's like you got the drop on something and somebody tried to gaslight you and spirit is saying no, like they're wrong. You know what that's for. It's like there was something that you had to use your intuition on, right? You had to use your crown chakra on it. And somebody was, or somebody tried to tell you like, oh no, that's not the case or something like that. Or somebody might have tried to cheat you out of a spot that you earned. Yeah, because somebody might have been like, why change what isn't broken? Yeah, somebody could have tried to play you out of a spot here. It's just for some of you guys. Anything else, Spirit? Multiple, yeah, yeah, because you have multiple gifts and talents. It says whatever your heart desires, you will have. Yeah, so you could do some heart chakra meditation, some third eye meditation, crown chakra, but yeah, you have multiple gifts and talents, period. Yeah, look, heavy influencer energy. Yep, so if you see yourself being an influencer, yep, they got you. Because look, it says the crown awaits you. Hmm. With that crown chakra, that's also a pun to the crown chakra is waiting on you. Okay. Caught up in a web of lies. Yeah. They're trying to lie to you. Like, trying to make it seem like this isn't true. Like, oh, your gifts aren't real or oh, that's whatever, child. You know. Okay, ready? Three. Two. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. One. It says, things happen. Pick yourself back up and soar. Time to fly and retry. Play games. So, first of all, they're asking you to see the lighter side of life here. But also, somebody could have been trying to play games with you, definitely. With that pick yourself back up card and soar, yeah, don't worry about it. If something didn't work out, it's okay. Yeah, exactly. Because they said, take a nap. Look. Uh-huh. <laughs> burnt out overwork take a nap need rest yeah put your needs first hydrate yourself somebody needs to drink some more water here too yeah deity reincarnated mm. y'all could very well be a deity reincarnated look at that y'all came through hmm. some of you guys might practice buddhist practices or some of you guys have been thinking about trying something new try out some buddhist things hindu things uh like I said, yoga, meditation, just, you know, you don't have to put a label on it. 
Ooh, and then look, husband and wife came out too. So this could be somebody that's in a long-term relationship that doesn't know how they feel about calling it a marriage. You don't have to, listen, do what works for your home. Yeah, I definitely see multiple gifts and talents. You guys, heavy influencer. Some Somebody could play sports here with the play games, you know, or you could be a professional, like, um, what's the word? Gamer, you know? Royal marriage. Ooh, look. There's a, there's a royal marriage coming in. Yes, this could be somebody that you were married to in a past life. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be, but. Ooh, you guys are awakened. Yeah, that third eye is definitely opening. It says magic happens. Artificial intelligence again. Yeah, somebody might have their phone bugged here. Sorry. Got it. I have to tell you. Yeah, somebody could be soft. Like, it could give soccer vibes. Like, somebody feels like you guys are a match made in heaven, but you don't feel like that. Take that where it resonates. But yeah, anyway. That's only for some of you guys. Um, but yeah, magic happens. Awakened. You are awakened to that the fact that magic happens here. And you know why it comes so quickly? Because you already come from an ancient civilization. You've already practiced these things before. It's just that we live in this, you know, time and on this dimension. Also, you could have been in a royal marriage before. So this could be why things are coming after you. Like why you're elevating so quickly. Because you don't know who you were in a past life. With that artificial intelligence, though, somebody else might know who you are, though. Yeah, there might be a lot of abundance that's awaiting you. You might even have, look, fullness inside. Yeah, you might even have some sort of, like, like inheritance, like spiritual inheritance. Wow, look, provided for, provided for. Yeah, it's like before you came here, there was something in your soul contract that probably said, like, there's a certain sort of way you have to live because of the way that you've lived your past lives. Does this make sense? Look, wow, it's this freaking waterbender in a past life. So, yeah, get outside and get by some water. Waterbender in a past life? Wow, that's deep. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some. We got an oracle message for the ancient civilization group. Ancient civilization group. Ancient civilization group. spend time with friends so. all right so for my ancient civilization group thank you so much spirit. thank you so much spirit. i want to give uh anybody watching the ancient civilization video i want to give them some divine messages they need to hear right now okay in three two burning bowl ritual i knew they were going to say something like that yes and abundance planning those go perfectly together look and then you got journal look oh my god and you also got energy work so let's see yes so let's practice man look to let go look so somebody needs to let go of the past or let go of what no longer serves you and stop feeling bad about things that you can't help because honey you're so much bigger than the 3d so don't even worry about it too much but yeah Pick up some crystals. You definitely need to start writing your manifestations down. Abundance thing. This is a bunch of a bunch of manifestation. It's all writing. Look, it says living expenses, education, self development. Keep track of your finances. Don't sleep when you're hung. Don't shop when you're hungry. Be a spirit guide coming through. Let's see. You could be born in October. You could be born in May, February even january here but there's some money coming in look it could be a hundred thousand somebody could be somebody could be have just applied for a job that was fifty thousand i can see you getting it just keep write your manifestations down somebody could definitely be a water sign look there's a fish right here it's like there's some sort of message coming through like watch out for your email and stuff like that but yes and also when things are working out journal it journal 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 lots of abundance planning and energy work needed let me see. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, this is the wrong way. Yeah, I'm not 
Let me get the book this time. I'm just going to pull some tarot. But yeah, so energy work, like definitely work on your chakras. It's So balance is needed. But anything that you feel like any blockages, anything. Oh, and if you want to reach out to your ancient civilization, if you want to know more about your ancestors, if you want to know about more about who walks with you, I'm hearing just write. You can write down the question in one like black ink and then write the answer down in blue ink or however you want to do that. Um, but keep track of your finances here. Also, keep track of your spell work. If you are a practitioner, keep track of what's working versus what's not working. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need a blue ink pen. Music. You know, mm -mm. add some music to you. Add some music to your routine. Look for fairies. You guys could definitely have fairy blood because I saw that pop out when I was pre-shuffling. Dang. There could be, there's a lot of ancestors around you, like. Your spirit team is heavily behind you. They protect you. Anything else? Look, oh my God, didn't I just say they protect you? Look, build strength. Look, and then you're building that third eye strength. So your spirit team said, don't worry. We're going to handle the enemies or whatever, any negative vibes. We're going to beat them up for you. You just, you just focus on building that third eye. Focus on your vision here. Okay. Got some tarot for the ancient civilization video. Let's see. What are my curious creatures? Okay, so for the ancient civilization. Anybody watching this video at any time? Oops. I don't even need any message for the ancient civilization video. What do need to know right now? Nine of Cups. Yeah, messages from the ancient civilization, basically. Yeah, like, somebody's foundation is about to be, like, the wish The wish has been fulfilled. And I'm hearing that it's because your ancient civilization is making it happen here. Yeah, it's like, genie in a bottle, definitely. Also, your spirit team is, your, your ancient, well, you know, your spirit team is trying to let you know, like, you have ancient people on your side. So you have different resources that you can tap into different doors that you can walk in other people can't walk in yeah somebody might have just passed away around you i do i'm so sorry to hear that if that just happened um and so some but either way here somebody definitely is going some to through some sort of transformation yeah somebody definitely does have a passed away loved one right there this death card in the in the butterfly you know what i'm saying um but that it's it's just every all, every ending is for a new beginning, right? Too many spirits. Yeah, but this is so that you can focus and evolve internally. Okay. Um, but yeah, your foundation is, is is being solid. Like you could be a leader. You very well could be an Aries. You could be a leader for sure. You could be a um, a Leo. You could be a Leo. don't have to be but these are just the signs that i see yes six of wands queen of wands yeah you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have to, you're gonna move you're gonna move into the winning season and your haters are gonna have to watch yeah there's something that there's something that you that you didn't get justice on and spirit is saying just let that go there's something that you feel like you didn't get justice served on and they're like you know what they saw you they saw the struggle but they need to let that go because they're taking care of it for you they're going to balance out the scales for you here all right. Yeah, Queen of Wands, it's time for you to oversee the world that you manifested because I feel like you guys have been working a lot with your spirit guides, you know, whether you know it or not. It's been a lot of work going on spiritually behind the scenes. Um, so this is real good. says doing the right thing doesn't always mean doing what the rest of the flock is doing yeah the wise parrot will repeat and repeat her candid account of your situation so that you may open your heart and seek alignment of intention emotion and behavior it's time to look at how you truly feel about your past words and actions hmm. 
yeah, you need to really, really face it right now so that you can move forward. Okay, let's see. Because success is coming. Consistent, let's see. As long as you, they're asking you to remain consistent right now, whatever it is that you're pushing towards, strategic plans in motion, confidence with ambition, yeah. So this is why you need to let go of all that false guilt because that ain't nothing but the enemy trying to hold you up. Let it go. Let, let go of the false guilt. You know, anything that you did that was in the past that didn't serve you, it's okay. Just like accept it and move on. Because that, because as long as you stay in an, uh, a regretful energy or whatever, you're going to keep um, attracting negative. Quiet strength, inner calm, influence. Yeah. They want you to be calm, cool, and collected, and calm, collected, and courageous. Yeah. It's like you exude a fiery serenity and wield it like a superpower. superpower. Be flexible, rooted nature. Be have a rooted nature, but also be flexible. That way you're un you're unplenishable. You know what I mean? Like, but you also have to be willing to be vulnerable through these times. So that's what this transformation, whatever this this death card is here for. That's why that happened. Okay? Because it's time to let go. Alright? Because now you're you're in a new you're in a new phase of awareness here, okay? It's a time of rebirth. It says it's time to the vulture is here to help you cut the ties with the heavy energy that's anchoring you down. So you might need to do a cord cutting. But it says there's an inevitable ending and that's emerging. And it's like just let it happen. Loosen the grip of any fear of change and walk or glide over this threshold more gracefully by opening your heart to the beautiful new opportunities that lie on the other side of this transition. So just be more open to change. It says no one gets out of this beautiful experience of life alive, little Doug. So live your life to the fullest. Experience it and give it your best. Yes, okay. Nine of Cups. Wishes are coming true here. Continue with your gratitude. Yes, the spirit hears you. A gift or blessing, contentment and peace, fruition of your goal. Make a wish, you beautiful thing. It says you work hard. Determination and open heart are paying off. Your hard work. Yeah, your hard work, determination, and heart, open heart are paying off. Yeah, so you guys might have just been opening up your heart a lot here. Um, stay grounded with Mother Nature. Um, give her some offerings. And be present in the moment so that you can receive the joy and pleasure from the world around you. You're very deserving of your of your blessings. They said, don't be complacent right now. It's not time to be complacent. They need you to step into it right now. They don't need you to be complacent. It says, thank you for treading lightly and loving all and lovingly on the earth we see you we feel you and we under and we underground dwellers are so very grateful what would you like to receive sweet spirit <laughs> what wish resides in the burrows of your heart you are worthy of the gifts that stand before you look this is this is the this is the earth literally reaching out to you saying what what, what wish you need what can we fulfill for you okay because you're the queen of wands look because you were bossed up it you were bossed up you were, you were, you could be a highly intuitive psychic you don't have to be but if you practice, then you're you're good at what you practice. I'm gonna just say that, okay? You have a lot of confidence and creativity with what you do. You're a social. You could be a social butterfly. Yeah, this is why, and this is why when you move to calmer waters, people have no choice but to respect it. They have no choice but to respect it because you're warm and charming. Yeah. They want you to. You might display your enthusiastic passion. That, passion openly that's what they need you to do and when you walk into they said when you walk into this don't feel bad about it when you walk into this abundance don't feel bad because you look out for your people you always look out for people yeah extroverted and ambitious energy yeah and run right into it here allow confident peace to blossom in its place because your lessons are your strength and the key to unlocking a deeper purpose transmute any energy any anger or jealousy by following uh, the roaring whispers of your own hearts, and you will find a sacred flame of sustainable uh, inspiration within. It says, how are you feeding your creative soul? And can you see the inspiration hiding within all the emotions of your journey? Yeah, because all this is happening for a reason. All right. What's the advice here, Spirit? What is the advice? Thank you, Spirit. What's the advice for the ancient civilization group? Yeah, Magician. And the Devil card with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, and when this new opportunity comes here, 
when you get this new house or this new whatever it is that you've been working towards there could be some shaman energy in here definitely in your bloodline that could be part of the ancient civilization just lots of magicians high priestesses because you got the hermit and the magician so it's like mm. this is giving heavy heavy like psychic energy here three of pentacles and page of cups yeah like you could even been this could even be a soulmate coming in like you know what i'm saying all right let's see Yeah, you guys have definitely been having a lot of new visions. This could be, some of you guys could have, you know, or this could be a soul tribe coming in. Yeah, your soul tribe could be coming in soon. And then you guys could push each other, help each other with visions and stuff. Yeah, there is a new potential for love. But yeah, you guys definitely could be a strong messenger, seers. It says expect the unexpected. There's a lot of synchronicities, lots of miracles. Love and romance can happen for you right now. Be open to unforeseen and wonderfully electrifying possibilities. Things are going to happen out the blue for you. Jay said, just enjoy the ride. Be open to the sparks of love and allow a little more play into your life. It's time to loosen up just a bit. Are you taking risks and chancing encounters with the unexpected or watching everything unfold from the inside of your reliably steady, your, your reliably steady fishbowl? Yeah, so just a little bit more confidence here because look, once you get out, you might even get a message. Look out for your email. Your spirit team has been trying to give you downloads. This can be your dreams, you know what I'm saying? You know, I love to say write your dreams down because somebody doesn't believe in themselves here. Somebody could be potentially overspending or self-sabotaging or, you know, this is the energy that you just got out of. It could be some sort of vices or you just feel, you feel like you're in bondage. You might be, you might feel... Some of us might be doing a lot of work right now towards our goals and you might feel like you're in bondage and spirit wants you to switch your mind up Two, 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 two. when I say that. Switch up the mind frame and realize this is your business. This is your opportunity. You can make the decision as you want. Listen, as long as you're listening to spirit, then you're good. Yeah, don't be, don't be consumed by materialism. Focus on your desire and what your, what your passion is. Don't be, and, and we might be feeling trapped or manipulated by our own choices or emotions. But like, we, like I said earlier, let go of those past choices because those just made you who you are. Yeah, it's time for you to walk into the door. Listen, the cracks, listen, it's not about how many times you fell. It's about how many times you get up. The cracks that you have and the cracks that you have are where the light can come in from God. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about being bruised and broken. Bruised but not broken. There's always a choice to liberate yourself from those self-imposed constraints. It says, have you ever climbed above the circumstances instead of ramming your head into the same stubborn wall? Persistence, determination, faith, and willingness to work for your happiness. These are your allies. What chains are you ready to break free from? Yeah, once you break from, free from it, then you can have this new money opportunity, this new promotion. The spirit is saying it's a big yes for whatever it is that you want. You just have to believe that you deserve it. This could be a love life, business opportunity, the connection to spirit, all that in one. This is definitely have to do with your spiritual gifts for sure, too manifesting power new beginnings yeah new ventures seeds of potential magnificent success wow pleasure and contentment this is an entry point to a new journey of security and prosperity and your first step is to connect with mother earth i'm done i keep telling you guys mother earth you are of the earth and mother earth asks you to plant new ideas and plans into her bedrock and to reverently give thanks to the bounty she will in return bestow be optimistic. Your harvest will be the incredible reward for the progress made. So find peace and presence as you begin this new journey. Look with that journaling that we got earlier. You can also, like I said, write something, bury it, leave it outside. You know what I'm saying? Look up stuff. Leave an offering to Mother Gaia, but write your manifestations down and ask the universe to help you with it. Yeah, because you're going to sweep away any embarrassment, any doubts that you that you might have put on yourself or that others might have put on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Backstabbing friends or whatever. That's over with, okay? I'm very, very happy for you guys. Thank you so much for coming to my page and watching. Again, if you guys want to private, the um, information will be in my description. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. But listen, somebody's restarting, okay? And remember, you ain't starting from scratch. You're just starting over. So now, since you're the...
since you've already tried something before, you have the tools necessary. You can restart with more wisdom. You can start way better. It'll go way faster for you, way better, okay? Look, this could, a lot of you guys, this is going to be a love life too. Definitely going to be your lover or business partner, okay? Well, thank you. Love y'all.